We're here today to demonstrate against the uh, cuts of 953 jobs that London Underground are trying to implement. They're going to close all the ticket offices, which will have a great impact on the state safety and security of passengers, uh, disabled passengers, for instance, who won't have easy access to members of staff to enable them to get onto their trains and get through the barriers quite safely. Boris! 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 The result of our ballot has given, given a resounding yes to take industrial action to defend our jobs and conditions. We've got members facing uh, job cuts and cuts in wages and as a union we will not tolerate that and we will be taking action along with our sister union Tessa to defend our conditions and jobs. This proposed cuts by London Underground would mean a 18% uh, pay cut for about 2,500 workers. Station staff, station supervisors will lose up to £10,000. Um, station ticket office sellers and the people who work in the control room, they'll lose up to £6,000. Um, it's a huge impact on them, on their futures, because also it will also impact upon their pensions at a future date. We say fight that! Job cuts, job cuts! Well, yeah, our ballot resort is out today. We've had 76.48% of a yes vote. That's a massive vote. Any politician would be over the moon with a vote like that. We're obviously having our members meeting at 4pm today. We'll have all our members there to decide our future action. London is going to be in very cold, stormy weather for a very long time to come, I should see. This is only 6.5% of the cuts that they're envisaging. This is going to happen another 15 times when they start trying to automate the trains and sack the drivers. And the only reason the, the ballot was not even more overwhelming is because they've tried to buy people off with voluntary severance on a 90-day consultation that they uh, legally aren't even obliged to, to talk to people on. Job cuts. No way. Here I say. Job cuts. No My name's Rob Williams. I'm the national chair of the National Job Stewards Network, and we are here today supporting the RMT, but also other rail unions like the TSSA. You're going to ballot in, and we want to make it clear. We want to build the maximum solidarity and support for the RMT. The RMT initiated the. NSSN in 2006, we're absolutely 100% behind them and any other unions and workers that are taking action against these brutal attacks from London Underground, from Boris Johnson and this government, who've clearly got an agenda now to smash the most militant unions in this country and we've got to make it clear that we are totally opposed to that and we call on all trade unionists, all workers, all unions to contact the RMT, contact the TSSA, get together uh, to support them but not only give them support, to start come together now and discuss the type of coordinated action that we've, we think is necessary, but also that can win a famous victory against this brutal government.